Hey everyone, Brandon here with OSNAP Tips, and today we're going to learn how to add a QR code to our lock screen to make it easy to send information to clients on the fly. If you don't have a QR code, you can go to qrcode-monkey.com, click on the vCard option, and then input the information you would like your clients to receive. Once you have finished inputting all of the information you'd like to share, you'll scroll to the bottom of the page and you'll click on the Create QR Code button. Once the QR code's been created, you'll download the PNG and wait for it to download. Once the file's been downloaded to your device, you can get started adding it to your lock screen. Locate the file and save it to your photos album. and then open your Photos application. Select the QR code and take a screenshot of it. This will ensure that it fits the entire screen and doesn't get resized. Once you have that screenshot, go ahead and use it as a wallpaper. And just like that, it's now on your lock screen. There are multiple options to do this though, and let's find another option. I prefer to keep my lock screen to have my desktop wallpaper, so I put it on my Today View screen. On an iPhone, all I need to do is download an application called Photo Widget. Alternatively, if I'm using the Hi Hello app, I can use their widget as well. I'll open my App Store and I'll search for the Photo Widget app. Once I've downloaded the Photo Widget app, I'll go ahead and open it up. The Photo Widget app allows you to do a lot more than just add a photo to your lock screen. However, that's what we're going to focus on today. I'll select the widget option at the bottom and then tap on photo at the top and add a new album. From there, I'll find the QR code that I want to add into my photo album. I don't need to do any editing. I'll tap done and I'll rename the album. That way it's easy for me to locate. Once I've named it, I can exit out of the application. I can move over to my view screen, scroll all the way to the bottom, tap edit, the plus button at the top left corner, and then find the photo widget app and size that I want it to be. I'll choose the big one so it's easy for my clients to see and scan. And I'll move it anywhere I want on my view screen. I'm gonna put mine at the very top, and then I will double tap the application and choose the type of widget. For this one, I'll choose Photo, I'll select the album that I labeled QR code, and then I'm done. And just like that, my QR code is now scannable on my device from my lock screen or from my home screen just by swiping all the way over. It's a piece of cake, and I'm glad you learned how to get your contacts a little bit easier to share. Follow OSNAP Tips for more great and straight to the point tips.